Hi, uh, these are my very quick views on the card in China tomorrow night, uh, which features a guy called Xiong Zhao Zong against Javier Martinez Resendez, uh, which is for the vacant WBC minimum weight, weight title. Uh, the title used to be held by Kazuto Iota, uh, which I can only imagine means he's moved up uh, in weight, which I didn't know about. So uh, anyway, that seems to have happened. Um, and the reason I'm doing this video very quickly it isn't so much to do uh, predictions, I thought I'd just offer my thoughts on it, uh, because it's very rare that we see, you know, good cards in China. Now, I thought I'd read that this was the first pro card in China, which would sort of make sense because, you know, it's a communist state and all that, although it is um, developing fastly. Um, but according to some people on Facebook, uh, several have told me that it isn't the first professional card it's the first um, world title opportunity for a Chinese boxer, or or Zhang is going to be the first Chinese world champion. So I'm not sure if it's their first world title opportunity, or if it's just the first world title potential uh, world champion. So anyway, so big big news in China, I imagine. Um, so really quite looking forward to this. I'll um, see if I can find a stream for it, but I very much doubt it. I mean, it's been shown on... Uh, Yunnan TV, and I've never seen any streams for that, um, so I imagine it will be a YouTube job or maybe so so boxing the next day. But anyway, I thought I'd give my opinions on this card and let it be known that there is, you know, potential for a first ever Chinese world champion. I do remember after the Olympics um, that legendary amateur um, Zhu Shiming, who is the uh, um, most successful amateur uh, in Chinese history, um, or a Chinese um, amateur Chinese boxer in history. Um, I'm going to post all of this under the video. I'll post a link to um, Zhu Shiming, to this card, and also to the Afghan card, because this also follows on from the very first um, professional boxing card in Afghan history, which happened on the 30th of October between um, Hamid Rahimi, who is a German um, Afghan, and a guy called Saeed Mabelwa. And they fought in um, Afghanistan on the 30th of October, and that was the first ever card in Afghanistan. So, you know, I think that's really good that boxing, because, you know, boxing is notoriously a sport that helps people fight them, fight out of poverty, it's very much a working man sport, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a sport for the common person, you know, it's, um, so therefore it's a great sport because it's the sort of sport that would help impoverished Chinese people fight their way out of poverty or whatever like it did in South America, countries like that, or, you know, the east coast of America and places like Philadelphia. Um, so, great, uh, the undercard features uh, two guys I've never heard of, Ranel Suko and John Thong Shuatana, and also a heavyweight contest between Okello Peter and Freddie Miller, who are basically journeymen um, now. So anyway, exciting times for China. Um, a guy who I know on Facebook, who I talk to a lot, says that he believes that, it, well, this is what he wrote, in three to five years, China could be a big player on the world stage, which would be phenomenal. I mean, that would be perfect. We all know that... Um, in like Europe, if you're trying to break a market, the two markets you aim for are North America, so like the USA and Canada, and um, China, uh, well Asia, and Asia, because Asia contains, you know, China, uh, Philippines, um, Japan, mainly Ch Japan and China, uh, South Korea, which, you know, we're talking about sort of two billion people here, and then if you include the subcontinent, like India, you're looking at three billion people, so... Um, so anyway, when you're tr so with football, soccer, uh, all clubs in Europe always try to break the Asian market because they know that they're aiming to get you know a potential three billion viewers. So um, that's what boxing should do as well. Boxing should be aiming to do what has happened in Japan, popular, Singapore, popular, Thailand, popular, 
Philippines popular, South Korea popular, so it's about time that boxing became popular in China. So, great to see that, and I really hope that Zhong Zeo Zong wins uh, the world title. Um, because imagine that potential for fan base around the world, and then that will bring more income to fighters. And if you think that um, fighters fighting in Germany, which are mainly like uh, North Americans, Brits, Germans obviously, uh, French, so basically West coast of Europe, so the um, West and Central Europe, but with China opening up, that gives more opportunities to, to the former Soviet countries, um, so those in Eastern Europe, countries like Russia, fighters in countries like Russia, to have more opportunities. So I'm really looking forward to this. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts on that card.